as a vicart group in india we pri- primarily believe in uh, uses of alternative fuel in place of fossil fuel in a, our group main motto is to increase alternative fuel to 30 to 35% because our new projects whatever is coming is not on uh, coal based whatever the projects we are proposing for capex also in future that will be for increasing the alternative fuels and uh, for the uses of renewable energy by replacing the national energy. with this theme uh, i am moving ahead uh, this is a, our vicart group is a 200 years old old uh, organization so spread across uh, almost so many countries he is a founder of uh, our vicard group uh, mr mestron vicard and we are presenting at 12 countries with almost 9000 employees in indian operations we are having two group companies one is bharti cement second one is uh, kalburgi cement and we are having a four uh, business verticals uh, two cement plants and aggregates laminated pv bag plant and uh, batch and we are having a batching plant also we are having all uh, network uh, supply network rail road uh, in in terms of uses of alternate fuels in vicart india we are using all these alternate fuels uh, coming from alternate fuel hazardous we are having uh, a pharma solvents from different uh, pharma industries and uh, a pharma solids and semi solids and coming to non hazardous we are using a dolachar and black carbon and biomass firewood and tire chips and fmcg waste and carpet waste and rdf and msw waste and fnb liquid waste and inorganic silk concentrated masses these are the types of alternative fuels we are using in vicart india next uh, in our Kal- kalburgi plant uh, first we started with uh, biomass and rdf waste in 2014 we started with the bucket elevator and small feeding arrangement at the time its uh, tsr substitution was 0.3% then we upgraded it to pan conveyor uh, and its capacity is increased to 3 to 4% substitution rate and 2017 uh, we installed a screw feeding uh, and uh, second trials to increase the ifr finally in 2018 uh, we installed uh, full fledged uh, ats mission for uh, co processing of uh, rdf and biomass almost 15 tph capacity with 0.3 and 0.5 tons per meter cube work density it's designed presently we are using at almost uh, 10 tons per hour we are using rdf and biomass in our kalburgi plant in 2019-20 we also constructed a dedicated shed for biomass and rdf storage with all uh, environment norms and with concrete flooring and everything all arrangements this is our afr journey in biomass and rdf in our kalburgi plant starting with bucket elevator then we change to pan conveyor then we change to screw feeding systems then we change to dedicated belt conveyor complete belt conveyor and then we installed ats mission for accurate feeding and doses and 2019 we installed a afr complete shed we commissioned with flooring and everything. this is a rdf and biomass journey in our kalburgi plant coming to the kalburgi plant strength biomass is a cheaper fuel in that area in tandoor and uh, this is a green fuel also in terms of uh, gh for reduction of gh emissions and uh, this is also improves the circular economy in the nearby villages because we are purchasing all biomass from uh, nearby villages only and that will helping to the farmers for re- revenue generation and for rdf we are uh, getting rdf from uh, hyderabad and pune and we are using almost uh, every day almost 150 to 200 tons of rdf also shredded rdf and in terms of nest in black carbon arrangement also we are having in kalburgi we are feeding uh, black carbon shell in the coal mix then we change it to uh, direct dedicated uh, hopper we are installed and per day we are using almost uh, 150 to 200 tons of black carbon in our kalburgi plant this is a black carbon arrangement in our uh, bharti plant kadpa and previously we were, we are not having any dedicated installation then we go for uh, capex proposal in between that uh, we are directly unloading the uh, black carbon bulkar into our running mill and it is it is a highly sustainable and it will creating there is a less environmental pollution also because there is no dust emission we are directly connecting to mill and we are grinding intergrinding with coal and we are using and second alternative fuel we are using here is dolachar is a waste from sponge iron industry previously we are using very high we are intergrinding with this metal into our coal in both the plants this is a af liquid arrangement means pharma liquids we are mainly getting pharma liquids from uh, Mylan, Maladi and Aurora all in from Hyderabad and Vizag and uh, Chennai and Bangalore area we are getting pharma waste and we are using almost uh, two, 150 to 200 tons of pharma waste in our Bharti cement works and almost 50 to 60 tons of uh, pharma waste per day in uh, Kalburgi cement and we are having uh, st- uh, this uh, sophisticated ABEL and AODD pumps for uh, smooth feeding and uh, consistent feeding of AF liquid into our k- kilns. Presently, we are feeding almost 4 to 5 tons of liquid uh, in our kilns in Bharati. And we are accepting all very uh, ranges of uh, uh, liquids from 0 to 3000, 4000 CV liquids and all pH value we are accepting. And accordingly, we are adjusting our fuel mix and raw mixes uh, 
to facilitate our main motive is to increase alternate fuels so accordingly we are adjusting our other fuel fossil fuels and uh, ramexes this is a biomass feeding and rdf seed feeding system in our uh, bharti cement works we are having a dedicated shed and with grab grab and uh, we are having a shader and this is a for both rdf and bio, biomass also and then uh, we are having a pneumatic pumping system in future in next year we are going for dedicated after shedding dedicated mechanical feeding system of belt belt conveyor next year we are installing with 20 tons per cap per hour capacity we are in present low, Three to four tons per hour uh, feeding capacity of uh, biomass and RDF through pneumatic conveying. This is a form of solids and semi solids. So we are using almost uh, per annum almost uh, four to five thousand tons of form of solids. These are very unstable and uh, high variation in the quality also. Still, for helping the pharma industry and save the nature, we are using this pharma waste. And we are impregnating, impregnating this uh, pharma waste with uh, biomass and we are uh, reducing the increasing the flowability and reducing the moisture content in the pharma waste solids and semi-solids and we are feeding it to the calciner through belt conveyor and uh, we are having an elevator then we are having a double flow feeding system this is a wicart india's afr journey so far our clinkering uh, capacity is almost 3.7 million tons to we are increased up to 4.6 to 4.7 our clinkering capacity is increased in our both the plants and our AFR substitution rate, if you see from initial, we are running at almost 17.5%. Now we are at a 17.2 to 17.1%. In terms of volume, if you see, if I'm using 3.4 3 lakhs of tons of uh, fossil fuel and I'm using 1.09 ton, lakh tons of AF in 2014, in 2020, I'm using 3.87 lakhs of farm coal and 1.83 lakh tons of uh, AFR material. It's almost doubled. In 2020, still till now, we are using almost 1.64 lakh tons of uh, AFR materials in our systems, co processing in our system. If we go for go to breakdown total uh, materials, this is a breakdown of the uh, total uh, mix what we are using. In 2014, we are highly using the dolachar and black, car uh, black carbon. Slowly, we reduced the dolachar and black carbon and increase the biomass and uh, liquid solvents uh, content. Almost 50,000 tons of liquid solvents we are using per annum and biomass also uh, 31. 32,000 32, tons of uh, biomass we are using. RDF also this year we all used almost 24,000 tons of RDF till day, uh, last, till last month. And, uh, till now uh, almost 1.64 lakh tons of AFR material we are using. And main challenges we are facing with uh, AFR usage in uh, North India is our uh, availability of metal is a big concern because of rains and uh, we, we are not strategically located at the uh, right place nearer to metro cities for uh, RDF and uh, other biomass supplies because it, our plants, uh, Bharati plant is not located in uh, agricultural area, it's a dry area. Still, we are uh, procuring some biomasses from far distances and uh, utilizing it. So, uh, to get, fill the gap, we are uh, increase the liquid uh, solvents usage. So, I think we are uh, one of the highest uh, circulation liquid solvents in uh, India, in Indian cement industries. This is it, sir. Uh, we are growing and we are accepting all types of alternative fuels. Go process. Thank you, sir.